Here we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go to the information. A ball is kicked off uh, of a platform modeled by the equation y equals to negative 5 x square positive bx positive 10 so that y is height in feet, x is seconds and b is a constant. The ball reaches a maximum height of 11.25 feet and it takes uh, 2 seconds uh, to hit the ground. How many seconds does it take for the ball to reach its uh, maximum height? Okay, so your ball is uh, clicked off uh, from a platform, uh, so which is on the ground, and its uh, equation is given that is y is equal to negative five x square plus b x plus ten, and uh, so here y represents uh, the height of the ball uh, above the ground, and x is seconds, and uh, so we have to find the time taken by the ball uh, to reach the maximum height eleven point two five feet. For that, what I need to do is I have to plug in this 11.25 for y, the given quadratic function, and solve for x. Because x represents time in seconds, so when I plug in 11.25 uh, over here for y, so then I, if I get value for x, that x represents the time uh, taken by the ball to reach uh, the maximum height, 11.25 feet. Okay, so if we plug in 11.25 for y, uh, right now I will not be able to solve for x because in the given quadratic function, there is an unknown constant b over here. So only if I get the value of b, I can solve for x when y equals to 11.25. So how do you have to get the value of uh, b? So for that, we have to sketch the graph of this quadratic function. Okay, so whenever I have a quadratic function in this form, y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. So if I sketch the graph of uh, the quadratic function in this form, I'll be getting a vertical parabola. So the parabola may open up or may open down. So it depends on the value of the leading coefficient a. There is a question of x square. If a is greater than zero, then the parabola will open up. And if a is less than zero, that is if a is negative, then the parabola open down. In this case, the leading coefficient is negative 5. That's the coefficient of x square is negative 5. So the parabola, what we get for uh, this quadratic function, must open down. So that represents the path of the ball uh, it travels. And also, I have to consider the point we have over here. That is, the ball is kicked off of a platform. Okay, so the ball is not kicked off of the ground level. It has been kicked off of the platform. So to sketch the, pra to sketch the parabola given by this quadratic function, we need the height of the platform. So for that, what do we have to do? I have to plug in x equals to zero into the quadratic function. So why should I plug in x equals to zero? x equals to zero means that's the initial time. So that is uh, the time when the ball is kicked off uh, of a platform. So when I plug in x equals to zero, the value I get for y is the height of the platform. Okay, so when I plug in x equals to zero, what value do I get for y? So when I plug in x equals to zero, this term will become zero, this term will become zero, because both the terms contain x, then I'm getting y equals to uh, 10. So when x equals to zero, that is at the initial time, so the height of the ball from the ground level is 10 feet. So that's the height of the platform. So now let's get a diagram connected to the information over here. Here I have drawn a diagram. So this vertical bar represents uh, the platform with height of uh, 10 feet. And uh, this is a ground level. Okay, let me finish writing. Okay, the ball is kicked off uh, from this point, I mean, uh, on the platform over here. At that time, x equals to zero. And also when x equals to zero, the height uh, of the ball above the ground is 10 feet. That is why it's put to 10 feet, because the ball uh, is uh, over here. So this is a point which is 10 feet, uh, 10 feet uh, from the ground level. Okay, now at this point, the ball is kicked off. So it goes and reaches a maximum height of 11.25 feet and then it comes back to the ground and it reaches over here. Okay, and also there is an information in the question. It takes two seconds to hit the ground. That is from the starting point over here to the point where the ball is the ground. So to travel this total distance over here, so the ball takes two seconds time. So when uh, x is equal to 2, so the ball is a ground. So this is a point where x equals to 2. And uh, what's the value of over here? So why already we know that y represents the height of the ball uh, above the ground. So when x equals to 2, the ball hits the ground. Since the ball is a ground over here, the value of y equals to 0. So now what I need to do is I have to plug in x equals to 2 and y equals to 0 into the given quadratic function and solve for b. Okay, now let me do it over here. Now uh, let me plug in uh, y equals to zero into the given quadratic function and also I plug in x equals to two. Then I'm getting negative five times two square, positive b times two, positive 10. So then I'm getting zero equals to negative five times. The evaluation of two square is just four 
b times j is it can be as 2b positive 10 so 0 is equal to negative 20 positive 2b positive 10 Okay, now zero equals to when I combine this negative ten, negative twenty and positive ten, I am getting a negative ten, a positive two b. So now I add ten to both sides. When I add ten to both sides, this negative one ten, positive ten will cancel. I am getting ten is equal to two b. So let me take the equation over here. Ten equals to two b. To solve for b, I divide uh, both sides by two. So when I do so, this two two will cancel. I am getting uh, when I divide ten by two, I am getting five. So now I got the value of the unknown constant uh, b. That is five. Okay, now uh, so we can write the quadratic uh, expression over here. So that is y equals to negative five x square positive. So for b we can plug in five over here. So five x square positive five x positive ten. Now the quadratic uh, function over here is complete. Whenever we sketch a downward parabola, so we'll be getting the maximum point. So the maximum point will be the Vertex of the parabola. So at uh, this vertex, the value of y is eleven point two five. That's already given in the question. So the y point is nothing but the maximum height uh, reached by the ball. Okay, we have to find the x point. The x point uh, gives uh, the time taken by the ball to reach its maximum height, eleven point two five. How do we have to find the x point over here? So for that, we have to use a quadratic function over here because this is a complete quadratic function because uh, we got the value of b over here. So now what I need to do is I have to use a formula to get the x coordinate of the vertex of this uh, quadratic function. So for that, let's consider the quadratic function which is in the form of y equals to a x square plus b x plus c. Okay, so when I compare uh, the quadratic function over here with y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c, I am getting a is equal to negative phi and b is equal to phi. And c is equal to 10. And the formula to find the vertex uh, of the given quadratic function is x equals to negative b over 2a. Okay, now in this formula, I have to plug in the values for b uh, and a. So I already know that the value of b is uh, phi, so negative phi over 2 times the value of a is a negative phi. Okay, so we have negative phi over 2 times negative phi is a negative 10. So this negative sign, negative sign will cancel out. X equals to So phi goes into phi one times, phi goes into ten twice. I'm getting x equals to one over two, or x equals to zero point phi. So the exponent of the vertex over here is zero point five seconds. Let me write over here. So the ball takes zero point five seconds to reach the maximum height, eleven point two five feet.